welcome to our YouTube channel. This is our family and we are off grid on Friday. So today's Thanksgiving, so I don't know if I'll actually get a chance, but I was thinking about putting together the Renogy starter solar system that I cobbled together with the help of uh, Renogy customer service, which is awesome. Uh, super helpful people, very patient and very willing to explain everything in detail to a novice like myself. Um, but I cobbled it together mostly from Amazon. And I am going to make some suitcase style stands for these out of PVC, which uh, I actually learned from watching YouTube. From, uh, I think it's DIY Solar with Will Pros or Will Pros. I don't know, this young man is very helpful. I'll, I'll put a link in the uh, in the video. So the idea behind the suitcase is that it's going to be a little bit more portable because I'm not going to be mounting these on a roof for now. Um, they, did, they did come with mounting brackets for a roof, but I don't want to be going down that road quite yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this pipe here, which is a half inch pipe, and I'm going to use some three quarter inch pipe and put a frame that kind of matches up like this way, that way, with some elbows and tees. It's, I think it's called gunsandgear.net that actually did the this portion of the stand. And a uh, super helpful video. I'll put the links for these videos and these guys um, <clears throat> in the description below. But um, basically there's some, already some preset holes I'll be showing you later and they'll be going from there. Scout found his ball again. Ready to work, buddy? Me too. So these are the pre-drilled holes, right? Gonna go just underneath the hardware. Gonna measure it right here. Gonna do a little pencil right there. Mark it. And that's where I'm gonna cut. All right, do some pilot holes. So you see what I did here is I just tapped a screw in there, tapped a screw in there, used a washer just to make sure it wouldn't fit through the, the slot, and then put these T connectors on first before I tighten it down. It's good to go. All right, this is the finished product of the stand. As you can see right here, I put a little handle, a little carrying handle, can carry it up, no problem. Did the little cross brace system. Put these little eyelets in here so I could put tin stakes in here so if it gets windy, it doesn't knock my panels down. And because it can swivel up on the top here, you can go different levels of how, like what angle you want it. Being on if it's winter or wherever the position of the sun is. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really know how that works right now. But I know that I can adjust the, uh, <clears throat> the angle of it now. So, pretty cool. Scout still doesn't know what to think about all this solar business. I think it's going to work out well for us. Alright. So, as you can see, stood up. I move this out move it down more and so on and so on and so forth <laughs> maybe that was too deep of an angle anyway that's what 10 stakes are for that concludes the making of the solar stand please join us for the part two of our series of making our off-grid solar system for our property